our Christmas celebration service. Hopefully by now you will have all the presents wrapped and the tree decorated. Let us now take some time to remember the reason for this very special time of year. Some of our younger members have put together a service which we hope will bring you a sense of peace, be a joyous celebration and a reminder of the everlasting hope that we have because of that very first Christmas which took place in a lowly stable in Bethlehem. Thank you for joining us and we wish you a very happy Christmas. A very noisy Christmas. Shh. Ah, an angel. Shh. The king has been born. Glory to God. Peace on earth. Shh. Wake up, everybody. Something amazing has happened. Jesus the Rescuer has been born. Shh. Wow, look, what is it? A new star has appeared in the sky. Shh. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Jesus is God's Son and our Rescuer. Jesus is the King. Joy to the world! Hooray! Lee and Twenty twenty certainly has been a memorable year. This time last year we could not have imagined having to sanitize our hands outside the door of Ballywatt Church and sit two metres apart wearing face masks. Although twenty twenty may not have been the year we anticipated, at 12 o'clock on December 31st, 2019, God still did bless us with things to be thankful for. We were able to spend more time with our family. We had time to learn new skills or take up old hobbies. We learned to appreciate God's earth that he created when we were out in our lockdown walks in the good weather. We had time to do more exercise and try to get into shape. We appreciated the little things in life. And for me, it was time to learn how to cook. People also had more time for each other and we stayed connected virtually. Lockdown saw many neighbourly acts of kindness and there was a great sense of community spirit. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 16 to 18 reminds us to rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for it is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And as we reflect on 2020 and look forward to the new year, we should always remember that God is in control no matter what life brings and that he will guide and strengthen us in all that we do. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and every blessing for 2021.
chapter 2 verse 1 to 20. At the time the Emperor Augustus ordered the census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. When this first census took place, Chirinus was the governor of Syria. Everyone then went to register himself each to his own town. Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the town of Bethlehem in Judea, the birthplace of King David. Joseph went there because he was a descendant of David. He went to register with Mary, who was promised in marriage to him. She was pregnant and while they were in Bethlehem, the time came for her to have her baby. She gave birth to her first son, wrapped in strips of cloth and laid in the manger. There was there were no room for them to stand in. There are some shepherds in the part of the country who are spending the night in the fields taking care of the flocks. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them, and they were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, Don't be afraid. I am here for good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in Deva's town your Saviour was born, Christ the Lord. And this is what will prove to you, it to you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth, and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great army of heaven's angels appeared with the angel, singing praises to the God. Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom he is pleased. But the angels went away from back them back into heaven. The angels said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see just this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph, and saw the baby lying in the manger. When the shepherds saw him, they told them what the angel had said about the child. All they had heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said. Mary rem remembered all these things and thought deeply about them. The shepherds went back, singing praises to God for all they have heard and seen, it being just as the angel had told them.
Our Heavenly Father, as we come before you, we want to thank you for all the love you've shown to us and for all the good things you've given to us to richly enjoy. We thank you, Lord, from the depths of our hearts, for the warmth and security of our family and friends, for the gift of life and health and strength for our daily tasks. But most of all, Father, we want to thank you for the events and the message for each one of us this Christmas. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners just like ourselves. Today we confess with our mouths that we have sinned against you. Create in us a clean heart so that we will not continue to do the things that do not line up with your word. Wherever we are, just now, we ask for your blessing to rest upon us in this coming week. Would you in your grace and mercy help us to worship you right and listen and respond to your word? We thank you we have a hope as your son died and rose for everyone. May we show this hope with others over the Christmas season. Amen. Isaiah 9 verse 6 For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor. Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. John 1 verse 14 The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. John 3 6 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Matthew 2 verse 10 When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Luke 2 verse 10 but the angel said to him, Don't be afraid, I will bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. John 1 verse 9 The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. Luke 2 verse 11 Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah of the Lord.
We trust you have been blessed and encouraged in some way as members of our congregation have sought to share something of the Christmas story, the retelling of the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Saviour of God's people. I, as your minister, want to say a huge thank you to all of you who have taken part on this occasion. I also want to thank everyone in the congregations of Port Stewart and Ballywatt who have loved us and shared with us from the Word of God over these trying and difficult times. Thank you for encouraging us to trust in the God of hope, the God of peace. God is loving and he is faithful to his word and to his people. And he has remained constant and good to us throughout these days of testing. Oh, God has proven more than enough for all our needs. This God who sent his son to take on human flesh came to save us from our sin. Let me ask, have you trusted in the Lord Jesus Christ? The babe born of a virgin, born in a manger, was born to live and die, but born to rise from the dead, giving us everlasting life, and born to save our souls from hell and bring us to God and assure us of home in heaven one day soon. Have you received the gospel? Have you believed in Jesus Christ? If you have, keep on going, keep on trusting in the God of Christmas, for Jesus is the message of Christmas. Friends, Merry Christmas. Have a blessed 2021. Hear these words of encouragement as we close. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Jesus, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.